Most of the time when you use displacement in Photoshop, you give it a gray image, but that moves things only in one direction. Displacement actually takes a two color image. Not a lot of people realize that. So let's say I have a square and I've rotated it 45 degrees so that it looks like a diamond. If I displace it with clouds like this, gray clouds, filter, distort, displace, and let's do it an equal amount. 100 by 100. That's a new feature, by the way, the ability to specify a horizontal and a vertical scale. If I do that and I use the gray clouds, it's going to move everything in a 45 degree line. You can. That's why I use the diamond to really show off that fact. If I undo that and I say I use the red green clouds, so completely different clouds in red versus green, add the two together so you get red, green, and yellow clouds. And if I say filter, distort, displace, and I use the same 100, 100, but I use the red green clouds, it happens in two directions independent of each other, which is really handy for heat ripple, heat shimmer kinds of effects.